have guest star Eric, <laughs> artisan Eric, with us today. <laughs> He's helping me with this little project. We got a big door that has a bottom panel out of it. Her dog uh, ran into it and broke the glass out. So we're gonna make a raised panel for it. And what what is this Aspen? Mm -hmm. We just bought one of these wood panels at Lowe's that's what three quarters thick, it's 18 inches wide, 36 inches long. And uh, we're just gonna cut it to size before we put the panel on it. Good lord. I don't think it's I think it's just the grain lifted. Let me see that edge. You think we gotta get the other one? Or that will that come I, out? I was thinking we between cutting and shaping we can get rid of it. Good heavens. You buy what you think is decent material. <laughs> okay, you gonna cut that off first or Yeah. I was okay. just looking at this and making sure it wasn't a crack. And it's just grain that's lifted. It doesn't seem like it's spreading at all. Okay. <laughs> Most of it, didn't it? You know what's strange, Eric? Because I don't remember. It's almost like that raised up while it was in the back of the truck. I don't know. It could have been covered by that. The label? Yeah. Hmm. Now, this isn't the most preferred way to do this, but we know that. But it's just one cut and it's going to be hidden, so it'll be okay, guys. By the way, what we're using here is a Delta Industrial Shaper. Like I said, we don't we don't use this very often, but when we do, it's uh, it's the bomb. <laughs> it goes off like a bomb, doesn't it? <laughs> it shakes the whole building when you turn it on. <laughs> Suckers, heavy duty. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a test now of the height of our shaper bit. Turn on the nuclear power shaper. <laughs> Which way do you feed it? Huh? That way. This way? Yeah, because like you're, the, cause you're like cutting. Well, I guess we better turn on the bit, make sure we got it turned right. That has to go that way. Then why would the controls be over there if you were Maybe to make it harder to turn on, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let's just let's see. Isn't it spinning the right way? like once uh, every 10 years so <laughs> it's going the right way right yeah i think it's just a safety feature okay. eric was asking me about why the controls are over here jonathan probably mounted it on the wrong side <laughs> <laughs>
must have been the end that we cut. I know it's caught right there. Yeah. Looks good though. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a profile. Now one of the tricks to this, one of the tricks to this, right, Eric, is you want to cut your, make your cuts with the grain first, and then make your cross cuts second. Right? Yeah. So it doesn't take yeah. out the grain. You want to cut, make the, make the cuts with the grain first. And what happens is when you start then when you start cutting across the grain, you'll meet this cut and it won't kick out, it won't fly out on the ends. But that makes a nice so I can show the profile there. It's so white you can't see it. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna put a uh, sort of a beaded um, panel on the back of it. All right, so what we're gonna do is take some little screen molding or beaded molding, whatever you wanna call it, and make a panel here. Just to give this flat side some detail. It's funny is, you know, we got 2,500 square foot shop and we can't find anything we need. <laughs> we're looking for we got 10 trim guns and we can't, the only one we could find doesn't have a fitting on it. What in the world? <laughs> so now we're going to have to hand, you know, we have to go back to the Stone Age and drive it by hand. You're going to have to go out to your truck and get the, the hammer out of the We don't even have a hammer. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Did it hit? I, I didn't drive it up all the okay. way. Okay. We were afraid something. it was going to go through and hit the table saw table. I just didn't want to <laughs> smash the. You're uh, doing it like an old timer, not driving it all the way up. <laughs> so the painters have to come back and fix it. Remember, we're the painters this time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we just have to go to the customer's house and put it in. All right, we're back here at the door. The customer's house, you can see it's a nice historic door, historical door, and uh, she didn't want to get rid of it, as you can see. I wouldn't want to either. And this, back, this bottom pane of glass was busted out. So we're just going to put our trim what happened to our trim eric oh eric's like well i was getting ready to cut it <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna put this right here and you can see it has a little profile on it that'll be kind of cute and uh it's gonna look good It's such a small job, we just brought out our little plastic miner box and now we're thinking, hmm, we should have brought the, the good one. <laughs> Those work pretty good on a trend that doesn't have profile on it, but... Get Eric on film breaking the glass up here. <laughs> it just bounces, doesn't it? <laughs> that looks good. No more doggy breaking the glass. You know what's uh, hard is finding honestly i'm not bragging but finding people like us to do this kind of stuff anymore you know because normally you can find people that will install doors or they will build doors or you know everything's so specialized now you you, you can't find anybody really that that can do this kind of craftsman style work you know and so it's just neat and uh our customer's been a 
uh, she's been a friend and a customer for a long time and well we built her log home like 20 years ago <laughs> that's how long i've known her and she bought this little bungalow on the inside it's just a raised panel she may actually get me to put that beaded you know panel on the inside too i would say maybe after she sees it but i like it on the outside so we'll see how that turns out now we're just going to prime and paint it 